this is problem says you lose use lenses loss to determine the direction of the induced current in each case and now lenses law states that uh, the induced current is such that it opposes the change that produces it all right so <clears throat> for part a as this uh, rod moves to the left the flux through this loop is decreasing because the area is decreasing so the induced current should uh, try and increase the flux and if the current flows counterclockwise uh, that will produce a induced EMF into the uh, O. So the flux is decreasing, so you want to produce a flux coming out of the paper. So the current has to flow uh, counterclockwise, uh, which will produce a flux uh, uh, coming out of the paper. Okay, so, so for part A, it's uh, the current is counterclockwise. Or part B. So, as this loop move out, moves out of the <coughs> magnetic field area, the flux is decreasing <coughs> through the loop, and so you want to increase it. And uh, a current um, <coughs> counterclockwise current will produce a flux increase in flux through the through the uh, through the loop. So, <coughs> or B also counterclockwise. Or C, <clears throat> as the uh, loop moves into the magnetic field area, the flux through it is increasing, so you want to decrease the flux. So uh, <clears throat> a clockwise current will produce a field into the loop, which will fight against the increase in flux. So <clears throat> for C, it's clockwise. For D, <clears throat> D is the opposite of that. As you move to the right, you're increasing the flux. So you want to decrease the flux. And again, the current has to be clockwise, which will produce an induced EMF into the sheet. <coughs> and I'll let you guys figure out E and F. All right.